Hey guys, it's Em and Bex. This is Hi. this is really weird. This is very old school. Old school. I get a lot of questions on a daily basis <laughs> about going to uni and Becky has also just graduated from Ravensbourne. Yeah. And she graduated with a first. And she's very clever. <laughs> she, she's everyone no, that ever I'm, I'm not that clever. It was just it's, kind of a She's musical. everyone that can ever think. And it, she's, oh, I can't even speak. Oh, you've got um, lipstick oh, on no. your teeth. Also, I dyed my hair and it went a bit dark. There's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like, a lot, a lot. And this is going to be one very meaty video because, yeah, there's a lot of questions. What are you studying? I'm studying press and editorial photography at Falmouth University. And I studied digital film production at Ravensbourne. <laughs> and I did my art foundation at Ravensbourne, which is where Becky graduated. Yeah. Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how difficult did you find it to adjust to Falmouth Uni life? See, some of these questions are very Falmouth related. <laughs> so Becky's going to sit here and... Uh, just like, mm. and in- <laughs> I was saying this to Becky earlier, it's really weird because we're both Londoners and we're both from massively big cities and... <laughs> yeah, London. <laughs> oh my god. Falmouth is like tiny, 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 like a really small postage stamp, like there's like 5,000 students and it's really small and everyone knows each other's business and it's really a really weird contrast like going from no one knowing who you are to like walking down the street and bumping into loads of people you know mm. but at the same time I always went on family holidays to like Devon and Cornwall so it's kind of like just being on a long term holiday <laughs> so it's, with some work in between <laughs> yeah it's kind of like just doing work while being on holiday which is quite fun um Molly I'm just writing to say hi hi, hi. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best thing about being at university in Falmouth or just being at university in general. I think meeting so many people. And the like, freedom. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, especially when you move out and, like, you don't have anyone telling you what to do. Yeah. The first few weeks was so weird. Like, no one told me to do my washing up. But, like, at uni, I could have five showers a day. And although I would be paying for the water bill, no one no one can tell me not yeah. to. And I love that. And that's the best thing about going to uni. <laughs> yeah, just the freedom is, like, really... It, it makes you grow up. And, I mean... Yeah, definitely. Some people want good at that no <laughs> do you think it matters if you do or don't become really good friends with everyone in your flat doesn't matter at all i don't think it matters like we also please excuse the drilling we're having work done i don't want to throw <laughs> loads of shade no there's no sh- <laughs> like we're not i'm not throwing shade yeah. there was a group of us who always used to do things together with the boys who live next door and then there was the other guys in the flat who we didn't hang out with as much if we saw each other in the kitchen we were all still good friends like there was no like we hate you because you don't include us. It wasn't like that. We were just a friendship group that lived in a flat. No, you don't have to get on with yeah, everybody. You, and you won't. Like, you can't expect to get on with everyone. No, everyone. you won't. Like, it's. I think it'd be very... It's just a life thing it'd be very. I think it'd be very abnormal if you managed yeah, to get on with yeah. everyone. Like, and you're going to have different opinions. 100%. What top three items is a must that you should have at uni? For me personally, anyway, probably it definitely won't relate to everyone but it was really good for me to have instruments with in my oh, room yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, because it was something that's not to do with my course um, yeah, it was fair. something that if I wasn't working it was something I could do for, like to fill time and practice um, so for me that was always like a good escape um, but I think yeah. an essential is like laptop <laughs> a mattress topper because mm. my bed was very uncomfortable so I honestly don't know how people can sleep on those beds without some form of like puffiness on top because <laughs> they are uncomfortable and um, so a mattress topper a cheese grater because if my flatmate Robbie is watching this one he knows that I stole his cheese grater <laughs> at every given opportunity so I would say it's a tin opener because we yeah, had and bottle openers yeah and a bottle, <laughs> opener. bottle opener we literally <laughs> had one tin opener for the whole flat by the end of the year it had broken and I remember I bought a tin of, I bought a tin of tuna and I ended up opening it by stabbing it because we didn't have a tin opener and I was like how else am I gonna open my tuna tips on making friends we've had an extensive conversation yeah we've sat sat for a very long time and discussed talking about friends so for me I would say that you've just got to be very out there and especially during freshers everyone is very open-minded and everyone wants to be everyone's in the same boat yeah and I no one knows each other (laughs) no one knows anyone like well they might know a handful of people but you won't bump into them honestly don't worry about it like it will be completely fine and if you've if you've managed to have a group good group of friends at home or like any friends you'll be fine going to uni like it's really not that hard everyone wants to be everyone wants to have a chat and also like it may take you a while to find out who your close friends are 
and with uni there's always a bit of drama so don't be afraid if it's constantly changing which is what happened to me yeah no um. <laughs> completely I was but very yeah. lucky I found myself in really a really good friendship group in my flat and then in the flat next door but then since that I've now like grown into other friendship groups as well which is completely yeah. fine you can have you more than one group people. of friends <laughs> is the finance stuff and budgeting hard so my uni was in like, London yeah yours the, again um, so obviously yours is a lot mm. like further away in a smaller just place a little, just a little. Um, so everyone knows that London is expensive but because I lived in London um, like all my, my entire life like mm. I didn't really know any difference so for yeah, me true. I already knew how to manage my money um, and I never had a problem luckily and yeah. even the people that had come from like maybe smaller places around the UK or other countries even um, even if they did say that um what was it like their student loan didn't cover their rent and accommodation like they still managed to work out a budget and get a job and um, what's the hardest part about going to a uni that's far away from where you live if i get the train from farm to home it takes me can take me anywhere between five and a half and eight hours it's not that hard because i always think like when you're at uni like even you were close to home you didn't come home that no, often I didn't. like no, you don't I like to be in a way <laughs> exactly and like you don't if you're if you're at uni i don't think it's very healthy if you're like coming yeah, back all definitely. the time like for holidays obviously yeah. that's different um like over christmas and the summer but i don't think like you're going to be so busy with your course yeah, anyway obviously. and making friends and like um how to deal with pressure if you don't particularly like going out I don't particularly like going yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> far away. Um, I think it's a weird one because obviously, especially with freshers in first year, you kind of feel it's slightly more pressured to be like, okay, yeah, we've got to go out every single night with freshers. Um, for me, my freshers was never great. <laughs> if you don't like it, like once you've made friends they will like you can tell them that no one's going to be like oh i'm not going to be friends with you because you won't come out <laughs> my flatmate in first year alice little shout out to alice and alice would be go on more nights out than i would yeah like, like she would go, she would be the proper party animal she would be like the one still going at like 3 30 in the morning <laughs> and i'd be in bed like there's so many other things to do have a night in order yeah. a takeaway we Watch always we always used to come everyone used to come in my room we would make crumble and custard and we would sit and That's eat so our crumble cute. and custard and watch a film <laughs> like that is the probably the number one thing I did for my entire time at uni. What was your best part of first year? Actually, I don't know. I don't know either. The entire thing. We had a really nice time, like, around Christmas. Like, we all put up our Christmas tree together in the flat and a really, like, nice, like, Christmas roast. That was a really oh, nice time. Got to go on a trip to Paris for, for a film festival. Oh, I remember this. Right, so we went, I think it was Friday to Sunday or maybe Friday to Monday. This. It was, like, over a weekend. And we only went to the festival for like one day. I remember vividly we went to the Eden Project with uni in like the that first was so good. three weeks and we like all stayed there for like three nights and the girl who's asked this is going in is doing my course. Um, that is so much fun. You will have so like it's a really like weird it's really weird because you don't know any of these people and you're suddenly like sharing a room yeah. with them. But it's really fun. Um, did you go to many of the ticketed freshers events? Because it's quite expensive. Wristband. you got to buy a wristband. Yeah. Uh, I think all of them on the door are like 10 to 15 pounds. But you also have to queue to get a ticket on the door. Just if you buy a wristband, you're so much more... <laughs> like you're just sorted. Like you don't have to faff. How to cope with stress at uni? You've just got a plan. Yeah. Don't leave... Right. Tip for you <laughs> in third year. Dissertation. Oh, yeah. Do not leave it till your last week plan like get yourself like one of those like diaries i have like a week to week diary that i like will probably write down everything i've got to do it means i stay on top of things and i also for a creative subject like say we ha our deadline was the 8th of may so in my head the deadline was a week before because you have to allow time for printing your photos which can take like four days ish how important do you think societies are to uni experiences they're not <laughs> they're I think literally that's not very much more of a united states thing like yeah. in america we i i am not a it member doesn't really of any societies in the universities over here like we have societies and i'm not a member of any of them and i still yeah. had a very good like and i don't know anyone who's Same. a member of a society can you explain how student finance actually works this is i don't really <laughs> fall into this it's a long story um, so. well it's a long process um and then it's a step-by-step -step process you literally like tick the boxes right wherever it is it asks and then it sort of works it out through your parents amount like how much your parents earn yeah. um 
So depending on that, it also depends if your parents are like separated and divorced. What do you do if you feel homesick? We were saying neither of us felt homesick, but the one thing I would say is don't stay in your room, like Mm. especially in halls. It can feel really, really isolating when all those doors are shut in a corridor. The rooms are so small and they get so stuffy that if you feel a bit sad, it just makes you feel worse. Like get out, go for a walk, like go into town, meet up with some friends, like... How quickly do you learn your way around campus? Again, my year, well, Raven's, Mine was just one building. Ravensbourne so. is literally just a building with nine floors. Like, it's very easy very to... Easy. Although I still got lost walking around Rave, but that's just because I don't think I was there very often. <laughs> Best place to find inspiration for photography slash creativity? I, my go-to is Instagram. I'm always on Instagram. Oh, yeah. I'm always scrolling. Love and I Instagram love... picture. Yeah, and I love to see, like... I'll find new photographers through Instagram and then I'll go and see if they have a website. And I think for filmmaking, it's kind of just seeing films. Yeah, <laughs> um, just watching loads of films. Yeah, go to the cinema, watch films on YouTube. Like, there's loads of short films on YouTube. And that YouTube. can help if you're feeling homesick too. What's one thing you wish you'd known about uni before you went? That it's not how everyone makes it out to be. You know, I'm only speaking from my experience anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone oh. made it out to be this party party, like oh my god it's gonna be the best time of your life and for me it wasn't wasn't. (laughs) see for me it is so i have (laughs) different opinions on this people had told me realistically how loud my neighbors upstairs were gonna be (laughs) if i had known that harry's flat was gonna be as loud as they were i would have bought earplugs sooner than i did (laughs) um i've had a comment from my friend max who says just don't go to uni so we're gonna there you go (laughs) thanks max (laughs) to be fair like i felt that my college did push university down my throat it's true my school did yeah I think we have again we both took a gap year yeah it's not for everyone it's so not. many of my friends from school and college didn't go to mm. uni it's like don't feel like you have to go and there's a big dropout rate as well which yeah. a lot of people don't talk and the other questions are should you follow some gang I'll leave some gang's link in the description box below Josh and Jake that is I hope that pleases you the coolest places to hang out in Falmouth well Becky will be coming to visit soon so she yeah. can come hang out in them too best <laughs> places to um, do your work because I have a qu- had a question about this um, go sit in Beer Wolf in town you would love it is it's... that this cafe that you're always in oh I'm always in there it looks very Instagrammable it's really like artsy <laughs> like really like massive beams and you can take your own food so you can oh, take really? your lunch and just like buy a drink and oh, sit in cool. there their Wi-Fi speed is really quick there's a really cool bar called chintz which is like up the hill towards where i live but don't come find me so if you're stood at cod on the corner in falmouth and you go left and you walk up the hill there's a really cool bar on the left called chintz and it's like upstairs and it's really quirky and there's like weird like baby heads hanging from the ceiling it's a bit weird um on the left there's like an underground bar called the brig and i went in there for drinks with charlotte at christmas and it was amazing it was so cool so yeah um definitely they're my fave, my fave spots in Falmouth. Has doing a creative degree made you love it any less? For me, no. No, I don't think so either. I did go through a no. phase where... Okay, so within filmmaking, there's obviously a lot of different roles you can do. Yeah. I produce, which is basically organising everything. I um, like to be bossy like me. <laughs> bossy, I just like to make sure everything's organised because no, I'm worried okay. if I don't do it, it's not going to No happen. one else will yeah. do it. Yeah, um, so there's lots of different things and from pretty much the first film that we made at university I was producing and I fell into that role um, and people knew me as a producer and by second year halfway through second year I was like I need a break like I don't want to do this this." so you might find that at some point you will fall out with whatever it is you're doing yeah but I think that's kind of normal a lot of people I was friends with in the beginning had this they loved photography and there's a lot of people in my course who are moving courses to like fine art illustration because they realize that they love photography but they love it as a hobby and they don't want to do it full time and a lot of people have now moved yeah which i think is really interesting um they love they love it as a thing but not as a like a potential career best toilet to do is shit in your own is selling foot pictures a viable source of income if you get a really low student loan sure why not yeah like, is, don't make it take a try <laughs> i know people who have a tips on hiding a vibrator in your bedroom i don't have neither do i <laughs> so i would say in your bedside drawer yeah or, or under, under some bed. clothes yeah but what about if it goes off and then they're like why is your clothes making a weird sound <laughs> Also, for reference, this is my friend Rory who's asking some of the weirdest questions. The next one is, what's the best way to pull posh lads? You get to be really drunk. <laughs> and that's my top tip. My, my lad is not posh. So. <laughs> but my, no, I don't have one, so not me either. But just don't, just don't get drunk in a field because things get really wrong. And I'll tell you the 
story. Oh, damn. <laughs> what is it actually like money-wise? Do people get as broke as they make out? See, this really annoys me about uni culture because the amount of people I am friends with will be like, I'm so poor. I have no money. And then they'll just go on this night out. True. It's literally not true. Yeah. Like, they'll just go off. Like, I know I've no said it as well. Yeah, I've and I'll be it. completely fine, but yeah. I'll be like, oh, I'm so poor this week. Was there anything you did to balance out work and social stuff? Like, a limit to the work. Um, I'm really bad at this, Charlie. <laughs> Like, really bad. I don't really have a social life because all I do is work. <laughs> so, cheers to that. And I think that's sort of the creative industry in a nutshell, to it's be like honest. how hard you work makes you, means that you make more friends and the more people yeah. you know, the more the further you're going to get in life. Try not to reply to emails at ridiculous hours because yeah, people think I'm you're really crazy. Have you ever had anything stolen like food or are people generally not like that? I love banana milk straws and if they go missing, I will cry. I was saying this earlier. Nobody, everyone in my flat was really nice. No yeah, one really same. stole food. And also I have the thing of... Like, I can't eat, like, four million different things. So, like, I kind of said that when I went into living in a shared house. I was like, I can't eat these things, so please don't then eat them. And also, I eat gluten-free pasta and no one really wants to steal that. (laughs) Yeah, I never had a problem either. Um, I only lived in, like, a small place with, like, two other girls, so there weren't many of us. Yeah, exactly. Um, But we never had a problem, so... Um, How to get the most out of freshers in first year? Well, if you want to go out, go out. Say yes to everything. Yeah, I think that's... It's the main thing. Like, it's good to experience it, even if you kind of look back on it and you're like, oh, I didn't really like that, you know not to do it. It's quite funny. So what tips would you give for the amount of events you go to at Freshers? Because my uni's got stuff on every night and you go, I can't, isn't going to be able to hack them all. (laughs) Choose what you want to do. Or when you get, when you move into your flat or move into your halls, see what everyone else is doing and just go along with the flow. Mm -hmm. How do you save enough money for festivals as a student or just genuinely saving money? Get a part-time job. Like, you can, you can do both. You're able to juggle. Like, you can, you have enough time to do both. Um, I work in the student union, I work in the bar, I have done since October. I have been completely fine, the pay is pretty great, and I just put that, all that money aside, and that goes straight on, like, my festivals. And that's how I budgeted the summer. Are you on a zero-hours contract? Yeah, yeah, I'm on a zero-hour contract. I so. would suggest that. I'm moving to Falmouth in September. I wonder what it's like. Do people cook with each other, or do they do their own thing? On a general basis, we would all eat our own food at the same time and, like, sit around the table around, like, seven-ish and all have our dinner together and watch something on TV. Um, and then occasionally, like, every other week, or, like, once a month, we'd all cook a big meal together. Yeah, we didn't really do that. The only time we kind of ate together was if someone <laughs> ordered a takeaway or yeah. um, I cooked a roast dinner. So there you go. Um, t- oh, keep in contact with your friends from home as well. Like, make sure you still drop in on the group chat and check if everyone's having Definitely. a good time. I think that's really important because I found that when all my friends went to uni and I was still at home, I felt like very disconnected from everyone because no one was really talking to me because they were all obviously having a really good time. If someone from like who was away had dropped me a message, I probably would have felt a bit better. No, no shade, but it's kind of true. I'm still in sixth form, but how did you choose your uni? Was it for the course or the campus? Actually, Ravensbourne was my second choice. I didn't... Well, like, it wasn't that I didn't want to go there. I didn't really know much about it when I applied. Yeah. Um, didn't get into my first choice. Didn't even get an interview for my first choice, which was actually Arts Uni Bournemouth. So I don't know why you didn't give me a place. Cause... She got a first. She's pretty good at what she does, yeah. actually. <laughs> and I'm an award-winning director. Right? Yeah, exactly. She's pretty <laughs> anyway, decent. Moving on. For me, I didn't know, think I wanted to go to uni. Where I went to school was always, like, very green. Like, it was all very pretty. And I was like... We went and like round a couple of unis. Like I went to Leeds and I was like, well, as soon as I went to Leeds, I was like, and then went to Falmouth and I was like, it's by the sea, it's really chill. And the course was like one of the best in the country. So I was like, why wouldn't I want to go there? Uh, I liked, <laughs> I did like Ravensbourne, like especially when I first started because I I went to the Brit school before and it felt very much like Brit yeah. in the sense of it was like a community where it was quite small and everyone was there because they wanted to do a creative subject. So for me, I f- do feel like it was quite a good choice for me to go there. Yeah. Um, even though it wasn't my first choice. <laughs> um, is Freshers at Falmouth good or is it a bit quieter than most Freshers weeks? 
it's much quieter than most freshers weeks but that doesn't Same mean that it's well. not good don't go to club <laughs> i like it just smells funny in there and there's oh. car- it's a carpeted nightclub and if a, car- night- if a nightclub is carpeted you know it's not a good place to go to so don't go I've to club never i heard of that. trust me when you come when you come down we'll pop uh, into club i stained <laughs> so <laughs> much um, go to mangoes on a wednesday night or a thursday night kings is amazing kings the pub go there i'm kind of worried about not making a lot of friends and being left out no you'll be fine you'll be fine trust me everyone Everyone is like i felt like that i will link a video that i filmed this time last year down below which is basically just me sat on my bed crying about the fact that i wasn't gonna make any friends and i'm fine so don't worry about it just go watch that video and you'll instantly feel a lot better how to best prepare for uni courses send us a reading list because i actually found it when i was clearing out my room yeah i didn't get a reading list i didn't read anything no i didn't read anything i just kind of rocked up on the first day thinking that i was meant to do loads of things like i thought maybe there was like a summer project to do i had nothing how many finished pieces of work did you produce in your first year i had to make four films in my first term we had one like practical unit in first term which was like 28 final images and then we had one practical unit in second term which again was about 28 final images but then what i actually worked on video wise was like off the scale and that was nothing to do with my course so I don't really know how to answer that one. <laughs> this has been a long slog. Best and worst bit. Long slog? A long slog. Do you not use that? No. That's like saying that it's been going on for a really long time. It's been a really long slog. I've never heard that oh. before. Best and worst bits about going to university in Falmouth. Top best th- three things. It's really small. So like it's really easy to like navigate yourself around. The nightlife is really chill. And that for me is a best bit. And three, the beach is on your doorstep. Like that is probably That's one cool. of the yeah. best things. Like from my house now, it's a 15 minute walk to the beach three worst things are the journey back home is just so long everyone knows your business like, you I, i'll tell you some stories like <laughs> off camera because they can't go on camera but um yeah when i say everyone knows your business i mean everyone knows your business oh i would say probably if you're living on campus in first year the fact that campus is very contained and it's about an hour and a half walk to town like, you can get the bus it's like 20 minutes but the fact that like you're kind of like very stuck at being at uni all the time. However, there's actually a whole like farm of town like to explore. Oh, that's all of them. <gasps> We've done it. That is the ultimate guide to going to uni. Pretty ultimate, yeah. Pretty long. Yeah, that was very, very Have long. Have fun editing. Thank you, I shall. Um, if you've enjoyed this, whack it a thumbs up. Thanks to, for Becky for being on. Thank you for having me. It's been lovely. It's been like yeah. old times. Um, we don't see each other very often. No, we don't. So it's been nice to actually have a good old catch up. Mm. Um, I will answer any other questions down below. And if you see me in Falmouth, come say hi because I like a good chat. Is that a good thumbnail? Oh no! Wait, hold on. I left <laughs> Don't use that as the thumbnail. We'll do it again. You're literally like the nicest person I know. <laughs> Right, yeah. That's it from us. I thought we go really delusional. And we need to go eat our jacket potatoes as well soon. Right, we will catch you soon. Bye. Bye.